Lemmy burn contains a herb called gynostemma, which they claim is a quote, clinically studied AMPK metabolic activator. But what the heck does that mean? And more importantly, what is gynostemma and can it really burn belly fat? Gynostemma pentaphyllum is a herb commonly used in traditional Chinese and East Asian medicine, which is known for its potential to assist with managing blood sugar levels in individuals with type 2 diabetes. It's essential not to confuse it with Gymnema sylvestra, a completely different herb that coincidentally enough is also thought to help with similar health issues like diabetes and obesity. Despite their similar names and potential health benefits, Gynostemma and Gymnema are distinct herbs. In East Asia, Gynostemma goes by the name Jiao Gu Lan and is often used to make tea. It's a plant that thrives in various parts of Asia, including Vietnam, Japan, Malaysia, and China. Interestingly, it has some chemical similarities with another herb called Panax ginseng, which is also used to support blood sugar levels and weight management on occasion. However, in traditional Chinese medicine, Panax ginseng is primarily used to help the body cope with stress and enhance cognitive and sexual functions. Clinical studies suggest that drinking gynostemma tea twice daily for 4 to 12 weeks can modestly reduce fasting plasma glucose and HbA1c levels, as well as improve insulin sensitivity when compared to placebo. It's believed to be able to do this by activating a receptor known as AMPK activated protein kinase, or AMPK for short. When AMPK is activated, it carries out several beneficial actions in the body, such as reducing the liver's production and release of glucose into the bloodstream. The result is a decrease in blood sugar levels and a reduction in inflammation, particularly in individuals with metabolic diseases like diabetes. While there is some evidence supporting gynostemma's potential to help control blood sugar levels, its effectiveness for weight or fat loss appears to be much less certain. In a small study that examined the specific extract in lemmy burn, participants taking it for 12 weeks lost an average of around 1 kilogram. However, this study had some serious issues. Firstly, it didn't accurately monitor and control participants' food intake and physical activity, making it possible that the differences in weight could be attributed to the varying diets and exercise levels. Secondly, the study was conducted in South Korea with a Korean population. Different populations like North Americans can react differently to medications or medical interventions, and what works well in one population may not be as effective in another. Lastly, the study had a small sample size involving only 80 participants with just 74 completing the study. This small sample size is hardly representative of the general population. Now, you might be thinking, maybe this clinically studied AMPK metabolic activator could help me shed some fat. But before you dive in, you should know that gynostemma is not the only AMPK metabolic activator available. In fact, many other therapeutic substances target AMPK activation. One notable example is berberine, a compound found in various herbs like European barberry, golden seal, gold thread, greater celandine, and Oregon grape. Berberine is also an AMPK activator and has been studied far more extensively than gynostemma. Berberine is also better researched for its potent blood sugar control and potential weight loss benefits, and there's stronger evidence supporting its use for these conditions compared to gynostemma. To gauge gynostemma's potential benefits for weight or fat loss more realistically, we can look at how berberine, a potentially more effective AMPK activator, performs in these studies. Research indicates that individuals taking berberine for periods ranging from 1 to 24 months might experience modest reductions in body weight, typically 2 to 3 kilograms, which is around twice as much as the study with gynostemma. However, even with berberine, the weight loss effects are considered relatively small, and it's not typically recommended as a primary weight loss aid. Most individuals use berberine primarily for its blood sugar control properties. I've actually talked about berberine in another video before, and I'll link it down below in the description. It appears that AMPK activation is most valuable for blood sugar management rather than weight loss. This becomes clear when we consider metformin and compare how berberine and metformin affect both blood sugar and weight. Metformin is a more potent activator of AMPK compared to berberine. It's better absorbed and is more pure, likely due to it being a prescription medication. It's highly effective in regulating blood sugar levels and is commonly prescribed as a first-line treatment for diabetes. However, just like berberine, it only has weak effects on weight and is not known for its weight loss properties. 
So with that in mind, let's talk about the rest of the supplement itself. Here are the doses per capsule. The recommended dosing is two per day. We're gonna analyze each ingredient to see whether they contain a sufficient dose, whether it contains the active compounds to work, and how effective they may be for weight loss. Then at the very end, I'll look into cheaper alternatives and give the supplement an overall rating. B vitamins play an important role in maintaining your energy levels and a healthy metabolism. When your body lacks these vitamins, it can struggle to produce energy and efficiently burn fat, and supplementing them can improve energy and fat metabolism. But it's essential to note that these benefits mainly apply to individuals with B vitamin deficiencies. If you already have an ample supply of B vitamins, taking extra won't significantly impact your weight or metabolism. Thankfully, B vitamin deficiencies are rare in North America, except for B12, which is typically only more of a concern if you follow a vegan diet or are elderly. I've talked about gynostemma for weight loss at the beginning, and even though there is one small study to back its claim, one small study doesn't provide enough evidence for me to say that it is likely to have any effect on weight or fat loss. Green tea is a common ingredient in weight loss supplements due to its EGCG content, believed to aid weight loss. However, the actual impact of these compounds on fat metabolism is rather modest, and they're unlikely to cause significant weight loss on their own. I've discussed green tea in more depth in another video, which I'll link down below. Green tea extracts also contain a small amount of caffeine, and research indicates that it's the caffeine that might offer more weight loss benefits than the other compounds. Nevertheless, to experience any benefits for weight loss, research suggests a relatively high daily dose of green tea ranging from 500 to 800 milligrams of EGCG extract or over 8 cups of green tea per day may be needed. Lemmy burn falls far short of reaching this level. Lemmy burn is unlikely to bring about significant weight loss. Research on far more potent AMPK activators have revealed that this approach can assist in controlling blood sugar, but won't have a major impact on your weight. Similarly, green tea extracts aren't likely to have very much effect, especially at such low doses. So in reality, it's doubtful that taking lemmy burn will lead to noticeable weight changes, especially if you don't alter your diet at all. It might offer slightly more assistance if you're dealing with blood sugar issues and combine it with a low carb diet maybe, but even then, don't expect remarkable results. Lemmy Burn is selling for $40 per month. If I want to replicate its effects with better research and likely more effective alternatives, I would consider combining berberine with a green tea extract. Generic berberine is around $5 to $10 a month, and green tea extract is around $4 to $8 a month. Combining the two would cost $9 to $18 a month. Rating Lemmy Burn by effectiveness for weight loss, I'm giving it a D. Gynostemma may have some blood sugar effects, but it likely won't have reliable weight loss effects. Rating it by cost, I'm giving it a C. You can replicate what Lemmy Burn is trying to provide you for many times less. Rating it by safety, I'm giving it a B. Gynostemma appears to be relatively safe to take, although there isn't much research on the safety of Gynostemma. To be safe, you should probably avoid taking it in pregnancy. Overall rating, I'm giving a D. I wouldn't recommend it at all. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. Do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date and share this video with some you know can use the info.